Hello all and welcome back to Pivot Point. Before I start today, I would like to apologize for the recent gap in order to upload new tutorials. Last entire month was really hectic for me. I celebrated my birthday. I also moved to a new location because of my full-time job and there was an increasing workload due to which I had very limited bandwidth. Hence, I was not getting enough time in order to create further tutorials. And also, I would like to thank you for the support you've been showing to this SQL playlist that we had uploaded previously. More than 270 people accessed this course in order to learn SQL and I have received a really good feedback. My only humble request is if you like the content, explanations and tutorials then please also consider supporting the channel by subscribing to it. It will encourage me a lot to stay consistent in order to keep on bringing new tutorials on this channel. Okay, now let's come to the point and I'm very glad to announce that we are starting a new playlist and it is going to be on mathematics for machine learning. It is the topic that most of the people tend to avoid or really hate to go through. Similarly, it is also the topic where most of the people in analytics domain or in data science are having a weak point. And within this lecture, we are going to see that what is the need or importance of mathematics in order to step ahead in machine learning or data science. And what are the advantages that you will get after becoming efficient in mathematics in topics like linear algebras and calculus, etc. to make a career in advanced analytics or data science. So we all know that data science is an extremely lucrative career option in today's era and a lot of new people are willing to make a career in this domain. In fact, a lot of experienced people as well are trying to make a transition into this analytics field. However, the majority of people are making the same mistake of avoiding the basics or prerequisites of a data science career. And mathematics is one of those basics which is being heavily ignored. In fact, if I share you my story, then I also tried to avoid learning mathematics when I started my studies in data science field. I focused on other areas like Python and its different libraries like Pandas, NumPy, Matplotlib, BI tools like Tableau, Power BI, and of course machine learning that also without learning the basics of mathematics as a prerequisite. And as expected, whether it is me or anybody else, if they try to get into data science without learning the mathematics required to do the basic machine learning, then there are some consequences. So as a newbie, if you try to study machine learning and you try to learn about different types of model and the algorithm behind it, and let's say that you do not have any prior knowledge on mathematics, then the entire learning journey will become painful for you. It will become very difficult to make a transition into data science domain. And let's say in case somehow you happen to crack any interview and you get into a data science job, then as well, you will have a lot of difficulty in order to sustain that job if you do not have any prior understanding on the machine learning prerequisites. I can tell this with experience. I have spoken to a lot of experienced people who somehow got into a data science job, but just because they did not have a strong foundation on basic stuffs like linear algebra, calculus, integral, etc. They struggled a lot in order to do their day-to-day -day job. So irrespective of if you are new to this field or if you are someone experienced, Understanding the basic concepts of mathematics is really important in order to have a clear knowledge on concepts like gradient descent, convergence, regularization, etc. However, in spite of understanding the importance of this topic, what is the reason that most of the people tend to avoid learning the basic mathematics? And the answer is people who do not have a forte in mathematics or let's say who did not have a good experience in past with mathematics as a subject, they don't want to get their hands dirty in order to do the mathematical calculations. And to be very honest with you, I was also afraid of doing the same thing in my earlier times. But the reality is, once you learn the basic fundamentals in mathematics, like matrices, vectors, and different kind of operations, after that, you don't have to do any of these calculations by itself because the entire mathematics has been wrapped around the brilliant Python libraries like scikit-learn, TensorFlow, and Keras. So you can do super complex mathematical calculations by writing one simple line of code. However, it is still very important to have a conceptual understanding that what is actually going behind the execution of that one line of code. 
and this is how you become a good machine learning engineer or a good data scientist. Coming back to this course or the playlist that we are starting, it is absolutely beginner friendly. So irrespective of anyone, whether you are a newcomer or someone experienced, you can access this course, follow the lectures in the sequence that we are uploading them and you will get to learn a lot of things in linear algebra, calculus, things like matrix, vector and different kind of mathematical calculations. And it is my promise that after completing this entire course, comparatively you will feel really very confident in your further journey in machine learning or data science. In return, please keep supporting the channel so that we also stay motivated to bring good tutorials with nice explanations for you. Thank you very much for your time. See you in the next lecture. Bye bye.